grade twos, this is week six, and you've done your assessment, and you're going into your midterm break. So I'm going to give you something a little less demanding. It's a short piece, and we're going to even study the rhythm of that piece as our reading the rhythms challenge, okay? So you won't have as much work to do this week because now you're going into midterm, you can take a break, and then you come back and get into some hard work again, all right? But today we're going to do a new note. In this piece we have F sharp. Can you say that with me? F sharp. So how you hold F sharp is you take these middle fingers in here, over here, and you put them on this hole, the second last hole, and it's like it has two little holes together in one, and then the hole just above it. So that means between your G shape over here, there's a hole left open, and then you have these two fingers over here. So your thumb needs to be supporting at the back, okay? When, whenever you're playing, this thumb needs to always support. But now we're adding these two fingers, right? So this is F sharp, and this is what F sharp sounds like. Okay? So make sure you're covering the holes completely and make sure you're just blowing enough air to make sound. You don't need to blow all the air into the recorder otherwise it'll squeak. So let's look at this piece. It's called the Tsar's Procession. It's in two time, which means there are two beats in every measure. That's why a minim can stand by itself. A minim has two beats, or a half note has two beats. So that's all the measure needs. So let's try and read this rhythm, okay? Remember, when you get here, this is called a tie. So you add up the beats. So this would be two beats plus one beat, which makes three beats. So you say ta a a. You'll play it on the recorder as one note. The other thing to remember is our rests. These are quarter rests, which mean they have how many beats? One. So you rest for one beat. So let's do let's let's read this rhythm together. One, two, one, two. Ta a ta a ta a ta 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 rest ta 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 Ah, ah, rest. Can we do that again? Three, go. Ta, ah, ta, ah, ta, ah, ta, 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 rest. Ta, 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 ah, ah, rest. Okay? So we'll try and play it now. And it mostly goes between which two notes? There are only two notes in this whole piece. Because now we're just getting used to moving our fingers to where F sharp is. So it goes between G and F sharp. G and F sharp. The whole piece. So that means your fingers need to be ready on top of your F sharp notes. So let's try and play just these first two measures here. Where you hold G for two beats and you hold F sharp for two beats. So let's try. One, two, one. Two. Let's do that again. Go. Okay. Let's go from measure three and let's go till the end of the line. So I'm just going to play slowly, but you have to keep your eyes moving so that you don't have to stop. We're going slow enough for you to re read ahead. One, two, one. Two. Rest. Rest. Let's do that again. I'll play slower. One, two, one, two. One, two, 
giving you this week, all you need to do is get really comfortable with your F sharp. Because just imagine, we'll be playing all these different notes, now we'll be adding all the notes that we already know, and you'll have to be ready to play your F sharp without keeping your fingers all the way over here. They need to be over the holes, and then these other fingers can move more comfortably. Whenever you have to play F sharp, you're ready. Okay? So, enjoy your midterm, and we'll see you for